In this video, I will show you three ways to integrate online meetings into Calendly automatically. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is John with Education Solutions Online, and I would like to talk with you about how you can use a free online app called Calendly. And Calendly is an excellent way to schedule meetings with people. You can schedule it, uh, set it up a, a time with people either online, and uh, you can also do it uh, where they can see it as a face-to-face -face option here. So I will show you very quickly how you can open this app up, and I'll show you how to set your schedule so that people can actually schedule a time to meet with you. And then I'll show you three ways that you can integrate online meetings with Calendly. Okay, if you haven't heard of Calendly yet, uh, this is your chance here to dive into it. It is a, I guess, a freemium app, which means you can use it up to a certain point. I believe you can set one schedule, but whereas if you pay for it, then you can set as many schedules as you like. So for me, the, the free app works just fine. Uh, you've also got the option to put the app on your iPhone or on your Android phone as well. So uh, what you do is you'd set up your account, uh, log in using your Gmail account, and this is one that I've got that's all set up here for doing podcast interviews. So once you create your, um, your meeting here, which is a, your event, I should say, and you name it what you'd like, you'd come over here to where it says edit, and this will allow you to set up when people can actually book this event. So I've got it set up for 60 calendar days into the future. Uh, you can also do a date range if you want to and how long you want it to be. So I've got this set for 60 minutes or you can do a custom one if you like. And we have here, uh, here's the calendar view. So I've just got this set up where it's a, a Thursday. So I'm available on a Thursday here and you would click on a day or you can edit all of the days if you want throughout the uh, the time period here. So if you uh, just want to edit one particular day here, then you can set this up. You'll choose the day, and then you can add in extra times. And so that's when you are available in order to meet with someone. Now, once we once we get our, our, our meeting ready, or, or I should say our schedule ready, what you can do is you can integrate, set up your integrations. It's up here at the top. So we're going to set up our integration here with three different online meeting platforms. So I'll set up our th of our three platforms. I've got Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. Now there's also a way you can set up four if you wanted to, if you've got a WebEx account. Um, I do have a WebEx account, but I'm not, I, I don't use it often enough. So uh, I, I do use Zoom quite often. And so what I'll do here is I will set up Zoom. You wanna integrate Zoom, and you'll say it'll ask you to connect to Zoom. Now, I believe what you'll have to do here is you'll have to get signed in to your Zoom account. And once you get signed into your Zoom account, then we will go ahead and take a look at this one here. So I've got that integration all set up. Um, I'll go to my event types, integrations. You have to do this one by one here. Okay, so I should have, yes, let's just check to make sure Zoom is connected. Yes, so Zoom is connected to my uh, Zoom account. So I'll come back here into integrations and next up I want to set up my Microsoft Teams conferencing. So maybe someone doesn't have a Zoom account but they do have a Microsoft Teams account or maybe that's within your school or your um, or your university here. So we've got here, a, uh, you need to have a Microsoft 365 business account here or an education account. So in order to integrate that we'll go ahead and do that right now and I'm going to get this all set up. I'll need to sign in. Okay, so now I can see that I've got my Microsoft Teams conferencing account all set up so I can set up a Teams meeting. And next up, for the third online meeting, I would like to give the option here with Google Meet. Now, I already signed in with, Google, with Calendly using my Gmail account, so everything is already set up here automatically. Here I've got my three online meeting platforms here and I'll come back to my uh, to my schedule my Calendly schedule so now that we have everything integrated here we've got our three platform uh, our three platforms that are all integrated we'll come over to edit 
one last time here. And we've already decided that uh, everyone on here, so what kind of event is this? We've got our custom event and uh, we say the location here. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to come in here and you'll edit the event. And right now I've got it set where I'll send everybody a, uh, a live stream uh, link right here. But you want to add your location here. So I've already put in an integration here with Google Meet. I'll add a location here with Zoom. And I'll add a location here for Microsoft Teams. And then just in case, and if I've got someone who wants to set up an in-person meeting with me, I'll set this one here. So I will say that this would be in maybe at my office. And I'll update that. Okay, so I've actually got my online meetings as well as an in-person one. So I've got all of the locations here. What I'll do is I'll save and close. And then let's take a look at the um, the actual schedule here. Once we get this uh, all set up here, and then we can we can start to send this out to our contacts to see what time they can meet with us. And I'll view this on the booking page. Okay, so this is what someone would see once they try to book a meeting with me. So let's say that they're, for example, able to come in December 23rd at 10 o'clock in the morning. They would type in their name right here, and they would type in their email address as well. And then once they have this all set up, uh, they can choose an option here. If it's a Google Meet, they'll get sent a Google Meet link. If it's a Zoom, they'll get sent a Zoom link and Microsoft Teams, or if they wanna meet with me in the office. So this will send a, a message, a confirmation message. And let's take a look here at our Zoom meeting. Let's say they, they choose to do a Zoom meeting and then they type in their email address as well. Okay, and they choose which one they want to go to. And maybe they say like, looking forward to speaking with you. All right, and then once they schedule this event, this will automatically send a message to my Gmail account and to their Gmail account with details on how to get into the Zoom meeting. So Calendly is a great free app that you can use in order to schedule your, your online meetings or your face-to-face -face meetings. So I hope that this was helpful. Please do be sure to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video, which happens to be every week. So thanks a lot and I will see you all in the next video. Adios.